almost every day I hear testimonials from friends or family members on the amazing movies they watched yesterday or that very nice song they stream for the first time. In a world where everything is accessible anytime, that feeling of finding exactly what you need is therefore priceless. Usually, this discovery process has three main sources. Firstly, the good old word of mouth. You will never trust anyone more than your own family member, right? Secondly, it may come from a personality or a trusted entity. Think about an influencer, a movie critic, or a magazine um, you like to read. Thirdly, it may also come from a recommendation of a certain digital platform. Think about these recommended for you movies or these similar songs. Nowadays, these three main sources of discovery are trustworthy in the entertainment industry. But for news, who do you trust? How do you currently navigate through the list of new articles being published and advertised every day? How do you educate yourself on what's happening in the world and on what's happening in the topics you care about? Similarly to the entertainment industry, news has two main sources of discovery. Word of mouth, sharing interesting articles through WhatsApp or tagging someone below a certain article, that always works. A trusted entity, think about a newspaper or a journalist who shares your opinion. But at this stage, recommendations made by a digital platform are somewhere between not existent or not trusted. But why is it so? Is it that difficult to help me read about the stuff that matters to me? Well, yes, it is. Um, because news is not like movies or song. News is a fourth estate directly impacting our society and democracy. News is fundamental. It is rapid and very diverse. First, with news, every day is different. The first challenge with news recommendation is that you're never sure about what your readers are interested in today. The world is changing at a tremendous pace and topics receive more attention depending on factors that you do not control. In essence, news are driven by model changing events. Model changing events are unpredictable news that have a direct and violent impact on your interest in a certain topic. Think about the surge of a virus in a remote area in Asia, the passing of a celebrity like Maradona, the invention of a groundbreaking technology, right? So even though you might not be interested or a big fan or computers uh, or mobile phone, well, the rise of the iPhone, for example, will grab your attention. And for some reason, certain people that are not at all predestined to be on the front page will eventually make it. Model changing events are very rare in the entertainment industry. If you don't like to watch an horror movie, well, only an Oscar winning production would eventually make you change your mind. In news, these events happen every day. Editors in chief are very well trained to deal with these events. They easily detect news that are out of the ordinary. But if your ambition is to complement that general curation with more individual curation, then you will have to detect these model changing events. We usually advise to use trendingness as a proxy for model changing events. Right? So trendingness differs from popularity since it looks at the speed of getting attention instead of the total attention over a certain period of time. Right? So if popularity over time is a curve, well, trendingness is the slope or the tangent of that curve. Mm -hmm.